Um, and hi everyone, so I'm Megan from Waterade's Global Policy Team. So yes, I was just going to present a couple of slides on advocacy components of the WASH Working Group Work Plan with the intention to help frame some of the discussion that we will be having in the next section of the agenda. So, um, so advocacy activities in 2021 have been somewhat ad hoc and opportunistic. So for example, the Working Group has fed into the GTFCC World Health Assembly side event to ensure high visibility and clear messaging on WASH and the involvement of uh, WASH government officials as key speakers in the event. Um, so the current work plan outlines the three activities um, outlined here, which Justine went into, so I won't go into detail. Um, however, I think it's fair to say that uh, we haven't really progressed significantly on these areas. And so now is a key opportunity for us as the working group to decide on the priorities for advocacy and if members of the group are keen to progress this work further, um, recognizing, of course, that what we do as the WASH working group needs to be linked to advocacy efforts in other working groups, uh, as well as um, sort of linked to an overarching GTFC advocacy agenda. So what do we want to achieve? Um, so I think it's important to be clear about what we're talking about when we say advocacy, because I think this can mean different things for different people. Um, so here we are talking about increased political prioritization and financing of WASH for cholera. Uh, so advocacy efforts uh, of the last sort of five years or so have really focused on agenda setting. So we had the new global roadmap on cholera. There was a new World Health Assembly resolution in 2018 on cholera. And of course, the development of uh, multi-sectoral national color control plans. And so really now we need to shift the focus to the sort of financing and implementation of these plans. And of course, uh, this is important for the WASH group, working group, given that uh, WASH occupies often the largest proportion of NCP budgets. So there's a critical role for the WASH sector to play in this. So what does this look like from a WASH working group perspective? So a couple of Things here, WASH components fully funded in NCPs, the coordination of the WASH sector in national cholera activities, increased WASH funding for cholera by donors, and the targeting of existing WASH resources to cholera hotspots. So how do we achieve this? Um, some brief ideas here, but of course this will need to be discussed and developed further in a sub-working group or a small task team or however we want to take this work forward. But firstly, the involvement in global and regional WASH and health events to elevate cholera and the role of WASH and to really drive that ownership of cholera as a WASH sector priority. Second, to document and share case studies, so what works and how. So this for example, could be around coordination where the WASH sector is working closely with the health sector to target WASH projects to hotspots, um, implementation of WASH and OCV, as we've just heard, and where there's been high level political leadership on cholera and how that's come about. Thirdly, uh, stronger engagement with the WASH sector. So for example, through sanitation um, and water for all processes, so in the past, we've talked about how can we better use cholera hotspot maps to engage with WASH ministries to target um, hotspot areas, um, as well as thinking about what other WASH sector actors do we need to engage and involve um, perhaps in this working group. And finally, and probably most importantly, um, how do we support national advocacy efforts via the uh, country support platform, so what additional resources or messaging can be produced by the working group to support resource mobilization and advocacy efforts? And secondly, um, could we map WASH working group partners in these countries to facilitate um, coordination of advocacy efforts among partners? So the questions for discussion later are firstly, is this an area of work that working group members want to develop further? And if so, who wants to be involved and how do we organize this? Um, or organize ourselves to progress this work stream further. So I'll stop there.